The coronavirus outbreak has brought renewed attention to how Taiwan is not a member of the World Health Organization due to China's long-standing objection. But in recent years, even with that objection, Taiwan has been able to achieve small diplomatic breakthroughs. Last summer, a WHO-recognized health organization voted to expel China as a member. It also voted in Taiwanese Dr. Jack Lee as chairman. FDV sat down with Dr. Lee to learn how one health group has remarkably broken free from the grip of Beijing. With China's expanding outbreak, Taiwan's exclusion from the WHO is once again making headlines while sparing unprecedented shows of support from the international community. Last year, Taiwan already scored a small diplomatic breakthrough in a WHO-recognized organization. The man at the center is Taiwan's Dr. Li, who was elected chairman of the International Medical Informatics Association for the 2021-2023 term. Taiwan was also awarded the right to host the 2023 Med Info Conference in Taipei. The International Medical Informatics Association promotes medical science and technology exchanges. In 2017, China had repeatedly changed the venue for the association's annual conference. China also missed payments on its association dues. As a result, the body's chairman raised a motion to expel China. The motion passed by a majority vote and Li was voted in as the next chairman. There were times when those delegates couldn't raise their hand and show support for us, but they synthesized with us. And after a while of this, the day finally came when they decided to raise their hand. That's when it became our turn on the stage. We are not the only country in the world to face oppression. We need to continue our long-term efforts to interact and engage with everyone selflessly. Don't throw up your hands because you are suppressed. Don't limit yourself to living in Taiwan or other Chinese-speaking regions. I think that would be a pity. Li is a former dean of the Taipei Medical University's College of Medical Science and Technology. He's also head of the dermatology department at the Taipei Municipal Wanfeng Hospital. In Taiwan, he's a pioneer of artificial intelligence applications in medical informatics. This time around, the National Health Insurance Administration has put a lot of effort into epidemic prevention, using its cloud-based system for medication and medical records. There isn't another country in the world that can match our measures for efficiency. We could turn that into an important industry in the future. For a long time now, people have thought that the healthcare industry depends on domestic demand. But medical information technology has a global market. We can promote our products in other countries, not only to earn money, but also to deliver health benefits to people all around the world. Lee says he'll continue to push Taiwan's medical AI technology out into the world. His election has proved that slow and steady can win the race and lead to unexpected global breakthroughs.